The history of the Democratic Republic of the Congo has been marked by unprecedented levels of violence and exploitation. The Second Congo War from 1998 to 2003 killed almost five and a half million people. And peace and security are still being threatened today by marauding gangs of rebels and militias. 30,000 of the fighters, some of whom are still armed, were children and young adults. If you've got a gun, then you've got all the power. The other people run away immediately. And if you see a woman and want to sleep with her, then you just take her and sleep with her. It can even be a small child, three or four years old. But if you feel like sleeping with her, then you just do it because you've got a gun. And if she screams, you shoot her and leave, and no one will do anything about it because war is raging everywhere. We had the privilege of raping women. We would be passing through the fields where the women were working, and whenever we met them, we did whatever we felt like doing to them. Hundreds of thousands of women in the Congo were raped. Many of the women died from their injuries, were infected with HIV, or became pregnant. And these unwanted pregnancies then turned them into social outcasts. They're often rejected by their own families and have to fend for themselves. My greatest worry was the child. Who was it from? I couldn't bear the responsibility. I was hoping the pregnancy would kill me. There is still no functioning health system here, so German Development Cooperation supports organizations that provide psychological and medical help for the victims. A raped woman who's traumatized feels ashamed but when she's here with us, she feels more normal. When she gets some counseling from us, and even some work, she knows that she's integrated in the community. Thanks to their support, Clarisse has gained some self-confidence again. She feels strong enough to start training to become a dressmaker. I'd like to be so good at my work that I can earn a living and support my child, and he can start his own education. So he'll become a person who's ready for life tomorrow. In 86 countries and regions of the world, children are involved in armed conflicts. Former child soldiers are not only perpetrators. They're also the victims of unimaginable atrocities. In the listening club, they're given an opportunity to deal with their traumatic experiences. I decided to leave the bush and go to the town, to the organization that's helping people. And I took my gun, you don't throw away your gun, and buried it in a hole together with the ammunition, and my uniform too. And then I came out of the bush as a civilian. I was afraid, because if they'd seen me, they would have killed me. In the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo, German Development Cooperation is providing support to around 25,000 disadvantaged young people with counselling, training and work. 
Congo is one of the poorest countries in the world. In addition to the relentless violence, mismanagement and corruption are the main reasons why the economic and social infrastructure remains so devastated. New initiatives, like building transport boats in Kindu, are intended to create long-term secure jobs. The graduates receive their boat builder certificates. Whether these young people can continue to build boats depends on how the overall economy develops. It will only be possible to have lasting peace and security here when former child soldiers like Abeli realize there are alternatives to a life with a gun.